G'day, how are we all doing today? I'm doing well. It is winter and of course it is cold, but that's okay because I love the cold. Today we're going to talk about highlights and how to save them or get them to a point where it doesn't look like it's hideous time. How do we do it? Well, let's firstly talk about what is going on in each of these images. So we have this Viking time here. These guys look like they're going to battle or coming back from battle. I have no idea. This girl here punching a dart next to a window or a dairy. Anyway, you want to or a cigarette. These people here hanging out next to a bush, doing some meditation, I believe. And this lady here having a coffee next to a train station. So all these images have one thing in common, and that is they have some highlight issue. But this guy here, obviously we have these weird looking highlights here. And this girl here. Now these are blown out, so there's nothing you can do about that. Once your highlights are clipped, they're clipped. So if you thought this video was gonna be about how you can save highlights that are clipped, it's actually impossible because your camera has stopped recording that so it doesn't matter anymore. These ones here, it's not blown out, but we can still make it a little bit better. This one here is just about softening these highlights. So we'll quickly go through what is happening in this grade here. I've actually done the quickest grade possible known to men. All I've done is an exposure change and a little bit of a balancing, saturation, and working under this LUT that I'm currently designing still working out the kinks and obviously our color space transform now this is black magic pocket 6k i believe so we don't need to do an idt so that is really handy for me that's because we have it set up in our project settings i will go through that one day but today it's not that day let's look at at viking town here and let's see what we can do about these highlights so the image itself is quite bright but if we were to change our exposure to make this look a little bit better we are getting more of that sky happening but we're also darkening our image. Now, of course you can have this look. That is perfectly fine. In fact, I would probably say this is more interesting than this look here for me. This looks a little bit video-y, but let's say your client likes that really horrible look. You just have to do what you gotta do to get that cash. So how can we bring these highlights down? Well, there is a couple of different ways, but today I'm gonna show you the best way. But first I'm gonna show you the bad way. So in our highlight node here, what we can do also, the way I have my nodes structured is going to be a work in progress, but this is getting close to how I want it to be. So we have exposure and then we have a highlights and this is important. So you want these two nodes separate, your exposure and your highlights. Very important to remember. So exposure, highlights, contrast, balance, saturation, and then all your secondaries. Of course, you can change your node structure any way you want, but this is how I do it. But exposure and highlights, definitely in the different nodes. Make sure you do that. Highlights here. What we want to do, we want to bring it down. So we could bring it down with our gain like we did. That didn't work. We could do it in HDR. That's another way to do it. But we could also do it using our highlights down here. If we were to bring these highlights down like so, we are getting more of the sky here. But unfortunately, we're still making these Vikings or whatever they are <laughs> dark. But we want to target these highlights alone. So we're going to reset this node here. Now in my highlights here, I'm going to go down to my qualifier, something I don't like to use when it comes to skin tones or things like that. But when it comes to sky, I think it's perfectly fine. We're going to take off hue. We're going to take off saturation. You will never ever use saturation. So you can basically always have it off. Don't worry about it. Now in my luminance here, I'm going to go to my low before I do that. I'm going to press shift H or these two, three little dots, highlight, highlight. So in my luminance here, I'm going to bring up my lows, which are my darker areas in my image, in case you didn't know. And we want to target the sky. So we are hitting everything, but we need to be hitting that sky. So that looks pretty good. And then what you can do is you can soften it right out and maybe bring it up a little bit more. Then you want to make this as clean as possible. So using a matte finesse, pretty sure that's how you say that word. We want to go down to morph radius. No, sorry. <laughs> we want to go to denoise, bring it up. You want to come to blur radius and bring that up. Then shift H again. We can go down to a highlights now and we can just bring it down. So this is before we've done that adjustment. And as you can see, we have some pretty pumped up looking highlights. They're very excited about life. And this is afterwards. So we've brought it down a lot. So it's not going to be a point where basically reshooting the image, but we've brought it down to a really nice place. And also what you can do is let's say you don't want this color sky. You can come down to your gain here and you can push it towards any color you want. So let's say we want it to be more blue or even more green. Actually more blue looks a bit more natural. Before and afterwards, before 
and afterwards. So that is another good thing. You can bring those highlights down, but you can also change the color of the sky. Now let's move on to another image. What we can do is we can actually copy this note here by pressing Control C on a Windows. So let's look at this girl here, punching a dart. Now let's say the director wanted this image to be a little bit brighter. So in our exposure note here, we're gonna go a little bit brighter. Okay, so now we can see this lady here punching the cigarette next to the window here, but now our highlights look really horrible. So again, with that node, we're gonna press Control V and we're gonna bring those highlights down. Now we've actually copied color across, so that was a bit of a mistake. Before and after, before and after. And you can really see the difference in this one. Now, like I said before, I'm pretty sure, these highlights are clipped. Even if we take everything off, see this white here? That means they're completely clipped. There's nothing you can do about it, but we can put it in a better spot. And actually, come to your HDR and bring it down even more if you like. So before and after, it's looking a lot better, but again, obviously they're clipped. So we're not gonna get it to a perfect place, but this is a really nice way to get far better looking highlights. And there's a lot of other things you can do with this. We'll talk about that in another video, but looking good. This LUT works really well with this image here. Humble rag. Okay, so with this image here, let's do that same thing. Now, I actually have a power grade for my highlight. So what I can do is come to my gallery here. I'll put it back on one screen. Give me one second. In my power grade here, I have it as highlight softener. So all I have to do is bring that node across and put it on my image here. Off. And then on. Off on so we're just softening out these highlights now also if you feel like this is doing way too much for image simply come down to your key here and just bring it back so now we're just sort of softening it just a little bit looking good let's go to our last clip because this is probably the most interesting of the clips here so we have our lady here and she's going to work or contemplating life it is really bright on her face here now because the face is the most interesting part of any image we want to try and soften it out so what we can do is we can do that same thing so on our highlight one which has disappeared i think it used to be this one here i think this one is the yeah this is the idt obviously we don't need it because of black magic footage with our node here we can just copy this one across here so Control c and if we go to a bright area here and then press Control v so that's off now i want you to pay attention especially to this silver part here of the train station so this is off at the moment we have doing no highlight reduction whatsoever and now this is on now we can see so much more detail in this metal pole here so off all together and then on so off and look at the way these highlights are really blowing out and it's also affecting her face and then we turn it on looking much better really softening out that light on her face here. This image is actually a little bit too red. Maybe I'll do a quick balance. So the whole name of the game here is sort of just softening everything out, making it look a little bit more pleasing. I think this LUT doesn't work with this image here, but that's okay. We'll say that's good for now. Now the good thing about this power grade is what you can do is you can be even more selected of it. So you can save it as a power grade, but then if you feel like you want it to do more, then you can simply put it back on like so, and you can change your luminance. So you can change where it's hitting. So maybe you want to make the whole image softer. So if you go even bigger screen here, let's get rid of these clips. So but just by adjusting your luminance, you are affecting a lot of the image. So maybe you want to have this area kind of blown out, but keep everything bright. That makes sense. So there looks pretty good. So off, on, off, on. I'm sure you get what I'm talking about by now. That is a simple little trick. Now, if you don't know how to save power grade node, all you have to do, all right, back to one screen, is all you have to do is come to your gallery here, right click, add power grade album, and we'll call it highlight of my life, like so. We'll save this node by pressing Control C, reset everything, Control V, and then Control Alt G to grab a still. Or you can go up to, I don't actually know the shortcut because I never do it. I think it's, what is it? Uh, color, stills, grab still. Now you have that node here, which is your highlight node. Now the way I do it is, let's go to the edit page really quick and we'll come down to effects, come down to, let's say solid color, change this into a compound clip and we'll call it highlights spelt very very incorrectly then let's put some text on it so we know what we're talking about 
Oh my god, nice feeling. Highlights, make it big because we're all pretty blind in life. Now we have our compound clip here. Come back to your color page. Simply right click this image here. That, like that. Roll G. Now we have a power grade that says highlight, so we know exactly what it is. Did I spell that wrong? Ah, no, it looks pretty good. Okay, so that is the video for today. I hope it helped out. If it has, make sure to comment below anything you want to see, anything else that you're particularly interested in. I've been Drew. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I think that's about it. And uh, yeah, that's it. So have a great night or day or whatever you are doing. Thank you again.